I thought it might be useful to uh, spend a couple of minutes looking at the kind of changes that are coming through in the revised programme of study for science at Key Stage 3. I think the first thing that's worthwhile saying is that the new programme of study is much more detailed than the old one. It makes it much clearer what's involved and what it is that pupils need to be learning about and what it is that teachers need to be covering. Now that's both a strength but it's also a, a challenge as well. We need to make sure um, that uh, what pupils uh, need to have met, need to have come across, has been included. I think the second thing that's worthwhile saying as well uh, is that the new programme of study is actually quite challenging. And it's not only challenging in terms of the scale, but also in terms of the depth. And there are some ideas that are now included at Key Stage 3 that previously would have been Key Stage 4. So that's a further de development point. One of the most profound changes, however, is that of course the new programme of study isn't based upon levels. It's not s set out in terms of levels and there are no level descriptors. Now that doesn't mean, of course, that progression or differentiation are things of the past. Of course, some pupils are going to make more rapid progress than others. Uh, and uh, it's important that teachers know which the more basic ideas are and which the more challenging ideas are. However, a challenge for us with this is to make it quite clear how we're going to build that differentiation in because the current taxonomy of levels is going and so therefore we need to address that. And I think the final thing that's worthwhile saying as well is that how science works has gone but it's re been replaced by something called working scientifically. Now working scientifically in many ways is actually rather similar. What it certainly doesn't do however is to make this a fact-based curriculum. So any notion that this is going to be content and no skills is wrong. In fact, that there are going to be quite significant skills and processes that need to be included in this.